Welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Um, this time around, we're going to look at the stack Mac configuration. Um, so, why do we care if our stack has a has a MAC address at all, or you know has a static stack uh, MAC? So, um, what that what that MAC address is used for is for management of the stack, right? So, if you're telnetting in, or um, you know if you're pinging the stack, something like that, it's used for that. But more importantly, it's used for other protocols. For example, it's used for the, um, the bridge ID in spanning tree or perhaps the root bridge. So in versions prior to 8.0.2.0, um, we didn't have that static Mac configured uh, automatically. Um, and we also didn't have hitless failover um, uh, enabled automatically either. Um, so hitless failover requires a static stack Mac. Um, so if I look at a, uh, a uh, show stack here, um, here we have a current uh, stack MAC address, our management MAC address, right? And so this MAC address matches this MAC address here. So when we first created this stack with a stack secure setup command, it shows unit one, uh, his MAC address to be the stack MAC. And it also gave it a priority of 128, so it would be the active. Now, since then, in this particular stack, we've decided that for whatever reason, we wanted unit three to always be the active controller, so we gave it a higher priority. However, its MAC address is still not the stack MAC, right? So it's this stack is still not going to respond um, to ARPs with it, or, or to, to management queries with the MAC address of the active controller, it's going to respond with the MAC address of the standby controller. And that's fine. As long as it doesn't change, it, it, it doesn't really make a difference. But if you're not using a static uh, management MAC, then what happens is when the controller fails over from you know the active to the standby, that MAC address is going to change. And so not only from a management perspective is, is that an issue, but more importantly, if we look at, um, say, spanning tree here, if I do a show span or show spanning tree, see the bridge address here is the same as that management MAC, right? Also, because I'm the root bridge in this particular case, then uh, so we see my priority 8,000 or 32,768 decimal and then my MAC address. So this is what the rest of the world sees as the root bridge address in this network. And so if that changes, if my bridge address changes, it changes the root bridge address and therefore it's going to cause a whole topology change throughout the network. And that's not what you want to happen. So static MAC is really, really important. So as of 8020, you know, we've got hitless failover enabled by default. We've got a static Mac enabled by default. So you should be okay, but there might be reasons why you wanted to change that. So in the running config here, the system automatically put this stack Mac command in. Um, in uh, as I said, in previous versions, that's not there. So that Mac address could change in the event of a failover. Um, but let's say you wanted to change that to something else. As long as there's no MAC address conflict in the network, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be a physical address, right? So we could make it anything we want. We could say stack MAC um, AAA, BBBB, CCCC. Okay, so uh, if I do a show run, my stack MAC is now changed to this. So it doesn't have to be a physical interface on my device. Uh, show stack says my current management address is this and that's not going to change regardless of who is the active controller or the standby controller or the members etc that is never going to change now and also if i do a show span as i said before this uh, stack mac represents your bridge address right so you can see that my root bridge has changed here to be this so everyone is going to use this as the root bridge address um, and so obviously if that changes on the fly that's a bad thing that causes a full reconvergence and you never want that to happen so static mac is really important you should have one does it really matter who what that static mac is it doesn't as long as it doesn't change but some people want their their usual um active controller mac to be the stack mac so that's how you would change it in the field uh, all right, so that's it for today.
and uh, thanks for joining me. See you again.